Hi everyone, welcome back to Abra Knowledge Channel. Today's topic is very profound. How to convert the non-normal data or non-normal distribution to normal distribution. Why this topic is so profound is when you identify the data as not normal and when you're trying to investigate and find out the special causes and the analysis the can go wrong or we are being so bothered about uh, various things and we will not be able to focus the vital issues from the travel money right so therefore it is very important whenever we have a data that is not normal data the extremely important aspect is to convert the data into normal data that is what is being deeply discussed and uh, practice during the black belt uh, sessions you might have come across during your lean six sigma black belt uh, session as it let's talk about uh, the uh, about the video we are going to talk about two things one we are going to do it in uh, excel the same thing we are going to do it in many tab also as well and not only that in many tab specifically in many many tab we are going to do it normality test followed by graphical summary followed by control chart particularly since we are talking about non-normal data into normal data we are talking about box cox plot also as well very interesting so this is the data set i have i have a data set of 100 100 data points i have uh, one subgroup i have in which uh, 100 data points are there and this is the formula as you know that mean i have found out mean is just average and median what is a median and then uh, mode and range mode is a repeated value repeated value is 1.1434 and range is maximum minus minimum right and then variance so th this is the variance formula and then standard deviations we have found the standard deviations uh, yes i use it so that it will eliminate the text and uh, any logical values and then coefficient of variance is 100 uh, percentage and the shape of this one since the mean value is greater than median then the graph when you do it the the distribution if you do it histogram you do it you will get the histogram with rightly skewed one that also we are going to do it uh, in in few minutes and then we are talking about skewness that uh, the shift that skewness is one point uh, plus one point seven eight that means rightly skewed and cortosis is two point seven zero that means the peak value from that shift is 2.0 and n equal to 100 we can also find out something called quartile 1 and that is 0.94 and if you look at the fifth value 50th value is falling on 1.55 and then you have a quartile 3 that is 3.2 and interquartile range that is 1.70 these are the basic of uh, statistic and which i did it through excel formula this is ba basic we can you can call it as uh, vitals uh, of statistic these are all the vitals of statistic so what i did i just picked up those 15 values which we picked up now what is the core essential of this uh, training is we are going to talk about how to identify the data how to test the normality and all that okay, right so this data in the excel now let's do it in many tab I'm opening up the mini tab. I have 17 version and the old version mini tab I have. So I have just copy pasted this data. And one more time I will copy paste this data. I will copy this data and paste it here. Or I can just delete this value. Okay. Okay. I pasted this data as such 1.1234, 1.40. I'm just rechecking the same value. Yes, it is same. So first thing what we are going to do is I'm also I'm just checking whether it is n equal to 100. And you can see here. Just have a scroll down. You will find like 100. Yeah, it is 100. Uh, but in Excel, you will find like 101. Why? Because the header is being header in mini tab it has been counted as a row zero that is this is the header it has been counted but excel it also counts that also as as well right the header also it counts the header is data set example you can see here uh, the value will be row number 
the reference will be 101 why because it also calculate the header also as well nevertheless so let's uh, further go back to many tab in the many tab what we are going to do is we are going to find out the uh, basic statistic and normality test normality test whether the data falls under the normal distribution or not particularly when you are having that continuous data or measurement data this is useful i will go and click it and uh, just give like normal uh, i mean data set this is the heading i have data set example i just double click it it got pasted and there are three tests are there one the very common method is anderson darling method i'm just gonna give it and uh, i'm just giving like uh, normality test the heading is normality test I'm giving ok so what I uh, you can find here is this is the one and uh, so you can find it here mean 2.64 standard deviation 2.66 the same thing we have got in Excel also as well right so 2.66 triple uh, six we have got it and mean equal 2.65 we have got it exactly the same n equal to 100 and then p value is something very very profound p value is less than less than 5 percentage 0 0.005 less than 5 percentage this data is not normal why it is not normal in other word the mean and median you see lot of difference are there that's the reason this data is not normal so therefore so whatever the data i mean this one from this if you are having the p value less than 5 percentage or 0 0.005 less than 5 percentage when you are doing it uh, the all the tests can go wrong right so therefore uh, maybe another way we can also test it uh, maybe what i will do i will just prove this point with the help of there is something called graphical summary right basic statistic and then you can go to graphical summary and then this is the data set and the confidence level is 95 and then you can give ok and you see here and uh, th this one as we talked about rightly skewed you can see here the whole value has been rightly skewed let's talk about that square and uh, 7.5 p values very less than 5 percentage mean we got it 2.64 the same we got it in this one standard deviation variance we got 7.10 exactly the same value uh, skewness we got 1.78 exactly 1.78 we got cortosis we got it like q u r t is the formula we got it 2.7 exactly the same value n equal to 100 minimum is 0 0.04 and first quartile 0.82 exactly the same value we have got here and then followed by uh, median median we got it uh, the 1.552 that is the second one and then we also got like 3.30 that if you rounded off you will get it like 3.30 and maximum and all that okay very importantly what is the thing which we need to keep in mind is this is the mean mean is here median is here both are completely skewed both are not falling on the center or closer to the center closer to the mu value closer to the mean value both are apart like mean is here somewhere here you can see that mean value is 2.6 and that is the mean value and if you look at the median value median value is somewhere far behind 1.552 that means uh, we are talking about right skewed the data has been rightly skewed right so therefore with this this is the data has been concluded this data is not normal data right if you do any analysis with that will not be able to do or it may give a wrong direction let me give and this is the only one subgroup data let me do it uh, what i will do i will just show you the control chart in the control chart individual individual chart imr chart and then i'm just setting up this data and then clicking ok you see here many of the points are being considered as a special cast are being considered as the outlier right that means this is the picture it gives because the data itself is a not a normal data and with help of that when you go ahead and proceed it both on the mean value both on the precision value that is range in both the things it shows that you know the process is not uh, the process is having so much variation and process is having 
so much uh, an outlayer as such. So, uh, so what we need to do is, let's come back to this one. What we need to do is we need to convert this data into normal data. How to do it? Very simple. Go to the control chart and then you have a box cox transformation and transform your data to fit to normal distribution. That means your data is a P less than uh, 5 percentage data. You can convert into normal one can be used for non normal data that do not contain the negative numbers and zeros and all that. Right. So have it go and click it and then I'm just picking up this value subgroup is one and in the option I'm just giving like transformation right transform data yeah and then giving enter give okay and now you what you see here is the the box cox value in this one what you see here this is the you know mean and mean, lower uh, central limit and upper central limit you got it the control limit you got it and what is the lambda value lambda value is actually you have estimate 0 0.09 and then lower is point minus 0 0.09 and upper you have 0.29 this is what we got it and rounded up to zero this is the standard deviation this is lambda and this is standard deviation and from there all these value already got calculated not only that it got pasted now let's do the check for this one normally it test for the column 2 c2 let's see how it goes right so now what i will do i will go to statistic and go to basic statistic i will do normally to test E earlier we did it for data uh, set now i'm gonna do a transform right and do normally test after box cox box cox transformation right okay give okay and you can see here you can see here uh, this maybe i will put it like in two uh, slide so that you can compare and get this uh, value so this is the before value this is the after value right so let's see that actually here we saw that p value less than five percentage because the mean and standard deviation mean and median is so set apart right exactly the same thing mean uh, now it became very narrow all the point online the data the data point is online the the slope line right all the data are very very closer to the slope line except very few value which is going away from the mean but very very online of the data and then standard deviation became 2.66 to 1 point almost 100 percentage it has been improved n equal to 100 the same and uh, p value is very very interesting now the p value is less than 5 it became 22.8 we got that means the data now the, this is the not normal data that not normal data has been converted into normal data assets this is the one now let's also do the graphical summary also as well right so now let's go to the box and basic statistic and graphical summary and then transform data i will do and then let's see that now you see the comparison between maybe what I will do. I will just minimize this one. Maybe I will put it like after. After. Now it is a normal data, right? After. And what I will also will have is I will minimize this one because we have done with that normally details. Maybe I will open up the other one. Yeah, this is the one you see here now you can find the difference right so this is the data was there maybe i'm trying to keep it in one screen in one one full screen so that you can easily view that one so now you see the comparison uh, here the uh, the mean 2.6 here it became very narrow the perfect bell curve we got almost perfect bell curve we got and mean and median almost closer not very far of away right the skewed value if you take a look on the skewed value skewed is actually 0.33 right here its skewed value is 1.7 almost like positively skewed and here very slightly been skewed here right and then you can cut off this value we got it 0.2 2.7 that is extremely high 
and 0.5 we got it and then you got you also got that everything so now this is the whole discussion like you no know, this is uh, now you got the non value non distribution data how to convert into distribution data that's the whole uh, discussion is all about now let's do it imr test let's find out now what we'll do i will minimize both the windows and go to statistic basic i mean control chart in the control chart and you have imr right imr so you can have a go and click it and then you have transform give okay and what i will do similarly i can just keep in both windows in one so that you can compare it easily let's see this is the one no not this one this is the one no not this is one yeah this is the one so this is a before one this is after maybe i will make it here this is before this is after right so maybe i will rename this one into before before the transformation right before the the data is non normal data and that is been converted into normal data now you can see the difference you can see the difference here uh, here it shows many outlays right and here only one outlayer is shows and uh, in the mean and then uh, you have a, a range that is precision and all that like this you can easily convert at uh, the data which is non normal data to normal data the same thing now i have got this uh, resulted value uh, uh, now this resulted value i am going to copy and paste it in excel so that let's see that the same thing after that one now i pasted this value now the whole thing got changed like mean became 0.52 median became very closer to this one not uh, much skewed actually maybe you can say symmetric and uh, and the value we got it very very beautiful and the same thing even if you do it uh, in the histogram normal histogram you will still get the good value as such so maybe go to graph go to histogram and this is the one and i will take it both actually both one and i will put it like overlaid one this is the summary so initially it was like this so the first one uh, the blue one the data set example it was like this like this is all rightly skewed and that value jane changed to transform skewed one 0.5 not very narrow one like symmetric one right 0.5 so this is the uh, one which we wanted to share in this video i hope you uh, this video is very useful and insightful please do like share subscribe my channel you have wonderful day ahead